SPFalcons.com. Here with Ryan Higgins after a thrilling two to one overtime victory over Fort Hayes State. Uh, Ryan, your thoughts on the win? Uh, it was a great win. I mean, well deserved. I think we were the most dominant side of that game for sure, and I think we were uh, playing around very well. We had the majority of the possession. It was a good game, and I'm excited that we got away with the result. Well, uh, the result was uh, all because of you in this one. You got the golden goal. 26 seconds left in the final overtime. Describe what happened on the play. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think the result was all because of me. It was definitely a team effort, but uh, good play. I mean, Julian played into Jess. Jess played across the box, and I happened to be in the right place at the right time in the back post, and I just swooped it in, and it was a goal. At that point in the game, what what are you doing off your back line there? How did you get so far forward? Um, usually, typically towards the last couple minutes of either overtime or the second half, usually I'm sent forward and kind of just supposed to roam out there and just see if I can get on the end of anything. So yep. yeah. Normally that's a free kick or a set piece of some sort. You're one of the taller ones to get ahead on. Mm -hmm. Here though, it was during the run of play. So w why did you find yourself there by that? Uh, uh, back post there, the left post. Yeah, so I mean, we were up, uh, we were up a man because they went down a man um, earlier in the game. So uh, Mark just told me to sit up there and basically just poach and just hope that uh, I can get on the end of anything. I usually like to hang it on the back post, so that's yeah. where I was. How much time do you have to think or realize that the ball was coming to you? Oh, it was instant reaction. I don't really like remember much of it to be honest. It was just kind of instinct. Instinct. So really, you don't have time even to think or place you're no, just I just pretty much put it on target and just hope for the best <laughs> what was your initial reaction thought when that ball went in uh, first I was just hoping that I wasn't gonna get called back and then once I didn't hear any whistle I celebrated accordingly so <laughs> <laughs> you, you certainly did well um, this wouldn't have been possible the overtime if uh, Maurice Suchia hadn't yes. uh, gotten equalizer uh, two minutes after they scored in the first half, uh, what do you remember about that goal? Uh, yeah, I remember the ball came out to Weber, and Weber kind of flicked it to Maury, and Maury just hit this brilliant shot up near post, upper V, great goal, had the keeper standing still, and it was definitely the response we needed after conceding that goal earlier. Sure was. Um, how difficult, really hard-fought game here, and you play pretty much the whole two, two overtimes. Uh, how tough a game was this? Uh, pretty tough. I mean, the, we were lucky that we had this game on a Thursday and we didn't have to play it on a Saturday after playing on a Thursday. So we had the, we had fresh legs and I think a lot, everyone was definitely dialed in. Felt really fresh for the game. So it was tough, but we definitely had the legs for it. I have to ask you about another uh, player, another person who plays uh, kind of toward the back in, in a holding mid. Chaz Jenkins mm -hmm. had two, two tries there about eight yeah, minutes into yeah. uh, <laughs> Eight minutes into the first overtime, one the keeper saved, the other he put off the left post. Uh, talk about Chaz. Yeah, no, Chaz had a great game. I mean, he used, he's not usually one to shoot, so it's actually great seeing him you know, having more confidence to go shoot because we know he can get on the end of things. So it was great for him. to. And I, was, I mean, it was very close. Good save by the keeper, especially on the second one. So we're very happy with how he played today. Well, your team is 4-1 and one to end uh, non-conference play. Easily could actually have been 5-0, oh, the Chico yeah. game in the opener. Um, <laughs> You kind of dominated the game, just didn't get the score. But uh, you responded to that with four straight wins. Why is the team playing so well right now? Uh, I think after the Chico game, we actually we didn't hang our heads because we knew um, that we should have gotten the result for that game. We felt that we kind of you know gave it. We kind of gave it away. And I think had, with that mentality, heading to the next games, we had a little bit of fire under us, and so we felt really confident for the next four games. Uh, to outsiders uh, like myself, it may seem surprising, maybe not so much to you, but a third of this team, nine players, are new yeah. to the roster, uh, <laughs> and yet you're off to a terrific start. How have you integrated those players in? So oh, well? I mean, the freshmen have been fantastic. Every single one of them has made a, con a significant contribution to the team. Um, they're all gelling out really well. Nobody, um, everyone seems to be really dialed in and like ready for the games. So. You've got a week now, one week from today, next Thursday, September 21st, 7.30 here at yes. Interbay Stadium. The defending GNAC champ, Simon Fraser, <laughs> comes in here. And that's the freshman orientation mm -hmm. game, should have a full house. Your thoughts on that match? Oh, it's, we're very, very excited. We've been talking about this game for the last couple of weeks, so we're very excited for this game. It's always great when we have all the freshman comments. Great atmosphere, and Simon Fraser, we love playing against Simon Fraser, so it'll be a good game. Great. Ryan, congratulations on the golden Thank goal you. and the victory for the team. Thank you.